In this video, I'm going to show you how to create batch renders in V-Ray for SketchUp the right way and help you save time in the long run. Let's go. All right, so before we start, this is part of our main course, which you will find in the link in the description. Check it out. You'll learn how to create photorealistic renders using V-Ray for SketchUp. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like more such content related to SketchUp, V-Ray or anything related to 3D modeling and rendering. Alright, so now we need to set the scene for our batch render. So there are a few things which you need to note before you set it up for batch render. So let's go to our asset editor first. So let's go to settings. Now the first thing you need to do is, you need to go to your render output and you need to set a path to save these files. So turn this on and click on save file. And I'm going to save this in the exercise folder. So click on save and it will be saved in increments of one. Now I need to set up my scenes as well. So scene two is already rendered and I don't really want this to be included in the batch render process. So what you can do is you can go to scenes and select scene two and the bottom you'll find an option called include an animation. If you tick this off, it will not be included in the batch render. So now I'm going to set up some scenes. So the first render is going to be scene one. And then I'm going to also have another render from an angle. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to switch on two point perspective. This seems pretty decent. Maybe just zoom out a bit so that I can see the legs of this stool. And then create another scene. So right click on scene one and click on add. So that's scene one, scene three, which is an angle. I can also add another scene this way from the other side. If you like to see what's happening from this side of the scene and then right click and click on add. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to switch to two point perspective. This seems decent and then I can update the scene. So we have three scenes which we can set up for our batch render. Make sure it is included in animation. And we would also like to edit these scenes after they're rendered in the V-Ray frame buffer. So what you can do is go to your V-Ray frame buffer. Go to options, click on VFP settings, go to history and make sure auto save is turned on. So once auto save is turned on, it would save the renders to your history VFP, which you can then load in and edit them using layers. So I'm going to click on save and close. And one last thing is of course the settings. So go to your asset editor, go to settings, make sure RTX is on, interactive mode is off. The rest of the settings looks fine. Also, please note that the scene would be rendered with the same light settings and the field of view. So that is the only limitation with patch render in case you need to do a close up shot or more. All right. So I'm going to go to scene one. And then you'll find the batch render option in the V-Ray toolbar. So click on the batch render to begin your batch rendering. So we're going to wait for the batch rendering to be finished and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so our render is done and it would also be automatically saved to our exercise files. As you can see, it saves the render along with its various render elements as well. Plus, it would also be added to the VFB history and you'll get access to the various render elements. And you can also edit these out in case you want to edit them out and then export it out again. For example, if you want a night render of this scene, you can go to your source light, switch off sunlight, maybe turn the environment light to slightly dark or maybe even blue, like something like this, and then export out a night scene if required. So there's various things you can do with V-Ray for SketchUp. It keeps getting better every year. I hope you guys found this course useful. Please do share your work on Instagram or here, and I'll definitely give you some feedback for your renders and more as well. I'm looking forward to seeing your work and Stay tuned for more such awesome courses coming our way. This is your host, Manish Paul Simon, aka SketchUp Guru, signing off. Cheers.